there are a lot of display configurations in Element, and two of them that are the most useful are configuring your live screen and your playback status display. Let's take a look at some of the options that we have for those two items. So I'm going to go ahead and click the gear icon right next to where my live tab is. And you can see I have a lot of options over here for customizing this display. The first thing that I can do is suppress my target status bar. So this is the area that shows me what queue I'm looking at, or if I'm in blind and looking at subs or palettes, it gives me that information down here. So I can hide that to give myself another row of channels. Uh, when we start dealing with palettes and presets later on, you'll see that we can show the labels of those references in our channels, or we can show their target number. So for example, we can show either focus palette 5, or with show reference labels enabled, we can show downstage left. Another option we have is the ability to group channels by 5. So you can see right now there's a little bit of air between every fifth channel. If we want to cram in a few more channels, we can let go of that, and that'll give us more space. Uh, we also have the ability to have high contrast on each channel, on or off, depending on what your monitor settings are. One more thing that we do in each of these screens is the ability to set 100 channel display mode uh, or enable specific locked versions. So when 100 channel display mode is disabled, as we learned about the other day, you can zoom in and zoom out with your format. But if you lock into 5x20 mode, which is 5 rows down and 20 channels across, or 4x25, that feature of zooming in and out is disabled. So in order to keep zoom ability, we're going to go ahead and disable that. Also in this area, if we've made changes and we want to go back to the EOS default, there's a quick button to reset these settings back to that default. Uh, also, because we can open multiple live tabs, we can set this tab as the current default. So now, whenever I open any additional live tabs, they will take on the same settings that I've set here. If you have another tab that you've made modifications to, you can always reset it to whatever the default tab settings are. Our playback status display tab also has a lot of configuration options. So again, next to this tab, I'm going to touch the gear icon, and that's going to open up all the different settings that are available. Uh, the whole right side of the window allows us to show and hide all of the different columns. So example uh, I like to use is my label. Uh, I like to have that moved up next to my queue number. So I can highlight label and use these up and down arrows to move that across the field to sit right next to my queue number. Other things you can do are show or hide either full categories or individual attributes within that category. Again, we can reset this to EOS default. We can set this tab as a default so that when we open other playback status tabs, it takes on these settings. Or we can reset another tab to the default. The live summary and the playback status display have lots of control options to configure your displays. And don't forget that a lot of other displays in Element have that as well. So when you're on a display, click the gear button and it will show you the configuration options.